Hello, I am Diana Mendrillo, an educational researcher at the University of West Georgia in the United States. This presentation is for the 2019 London International Conference on Education and is focused on illustrating the application of Exploratory Structural Equation Modeling, or ESEM, in the investigation of bullying victimization in U.S. adolescents and its relationships with behavior management effectiveness at school and the probability of engaging into physical fights and carrying weapons to school. Exploratory factor analysis, or EFA, is frequently used in educational sciences to examine latent constructs and uncover the dimensions that underlie a set of related variables. The subsequent development of confirmatory factor analysis, or CFA, allowed researchers to estimate the degree to which a specified measurement model fit the data through the computation of goodness of fit indices. However, the CFA strict requirement of zero cross loadings may lead to extensive model modifications in order to reach a good model fit. Additionally, fixing cross loadings to zero may lead to biased model parameters, overestimated factor correlations, and distorted structural relations. More recently, the development of Exploratory Structural Equation Modeling, or ESEM, allows researchers to include an EFA measurement model with rotations in a structural model. This procedure includes the advantages of EFA, CFA, and SEM by allowing the estimation of cross loadings, goodness of fit indices, as well as structural relations. ESEM has recently been implemented in the M statistical software. This presentation illustrates the application of the ESEM procedure to examine the impact of behavior management on bullying victimization and, consequently, on student engagement in risky behaviors such as bringing weapons to school and engaging into physical fights. Although bullying is not a new concept to educators and the public, Previous studies are limited in explaining the predictive effect of specific variables such as demographic variables, school environmental variables, and school anti-bullying preventive measures. Studies examining school safety measures and students' perceptions of school climate, especially school roles and punishment, reveal that variables such as having security guards, the fairness and awareness of school rules, Gangs and guns at school, students misbehaving, and teachers' punishment of students were statistically significant predictors of bullying victimization. Similarly, harsh discipline methods in disorganized classrooms increased the likelihood of bullying victimization. On the other hand, healthy school climates where discipline plans were consistently applied and there was respect for diversity were associated with a decreased prevalence of victimization and weapon carrying. Weapon carrying is of interest here because it is a very risky behavior which was identified as a key factor in the increase of youth violence and injury. The goal of the current study was twofold. First, the researcher aimed to examine the relationships between behavior management, bullying victimization, engagement in physical fights, and weapon carrying in the school setting. A second objective of the study was to examine these relationships using exploratory structure equation modeling, which is a more recent and more precise method than the procedures employed in previous research. Data for the study were collected in 2015 from a nationally representative sample of U.S. adolescents ages 12 to 18 using the school crime supplement of the National Crime Victimization Survey with a sample size of 2,307 individuals. The sample was selected by the Bureau of Justice Statistics and the National Center for Education Statistics using a stratified, multi-stage cluster design. Response rates on all items exceeded 85%, therefore no imputation of missing values was necessary. The school crime supplement sample weights, which are a combination of household weights and person level weights, were used to account for the nested structure of the data. 
7 items measuring bullying, 5 items measuring behavior management at school, and 3 items measuring weapon carrying at school were used as input for ESEM. Additionally, one item was used as indicator of engagement into physical fights. Behavior management items, which are listed in the table on the left-hand side, are referring to the frequency of student misbehavior and whether school rules were perceived as fair, were strictly reinforced, and the consequences for breaking the rules were known to students. Bullying items are listed in the table on the upper right corner and refer to different forms of verbal and physical victimization or exclusion from activities on purpose. Weapon carrying items inquired participants whether they brought a gun, a knife, or some other weapon to school during the current school year. The other item used in the analysis asked students whether they engaged in one or more physical fights during the current school year. Behavior management items were on a four-point Likert scale, whereas bullying and weapon carrying items were binary. As indicated in this figure, the hypothesized model included three latent variables, behavior management, bullying victimization, and weapon carrying. The fights observed variable was specified as an outcome of the bullying latent variable and a covariate of weapon carrying. The relationships specified in the model are based on the hypothesis that more effective behavior management at school, the BM variable, predicts less bullying victimization, the BUL variable, which in turn predicts fewer engagements in physical fights, the fights variable, and less weapon carrying at school, the weapon variable. Observed variables were treated as ordered categorical using the mean and variance adjusted weighted least squares estimation method or WLSMV and GeoMean rotation with the M plus 8.2 software. The WLSMV estimation procedure provides more accurate results than other methods with small sample sizes as well as with ordinal non-normal data. GeoMean is an oblique rotation procedure. Oblique rotation procedures are employed when factors are expected to correlate. Orthogonal rotation procedures may lead to a loss of information and biased estimates if at least one relationship exists among factors. Model fit was assessed using the following indices, the chi-square and its p-value, the chi-square divided by the degrees of freedom, the root mean square error of approximation and its 90% confidence interval, the comparative fit index, the Tucker-Lewis index, the standardized root mean square residual, and the weighted root mean residual. Descriptive analysis showed that the great majority of respondents perceived behavior management at school as effective and experienced very little bullying victimization. The most frequent forms of victimization were being made fun of or insulted in a hurtful way and being the subject of rumors, whereas the least prevalent forms were being excluded from activities on purpose and having property destroyed on purpose. Although the overall proportion of adolescents bringing a weapon to school was relatively small, it is important to note that 37 individuals brought a knife as a weapon to school during that school year. However, only 3% of participants reported engaging into one or more physical fights. The table on this slide lists the factor loadings. As you can see, all factor loadings were statistically significant and showed strong relationships with the corresponding factor. Additionally, all the relationships specified in a structural model were statistically significant. The strongest relationship was between bullying and weapon carrying. The second strongest relationship was between behavior management and bullying, followed by fights and weapon carrying and bullying and fights. To facilitate interpretation, the same results are illustrated on this diagram. Results showed that engagement in physical fights and bullying victimization are significant predictors of weapon carrying. 
Nevertheless, effective behavior management at school is associated with significantly less bullying victimization, which in turn leads to fewer physical fights. As you can see in this table, the structural model had a very good fit to the data. The chi-square was significant, but this statistic is known to be sensitive to model size and sample size. Therefore, the chi-square divided by the DF was used as an index of model fit, which was below the recommended value of 3. The RMSEA was well below the recommended value of 0.05 and showed, therefore, excellent model fit. CFI and TLI values were close to 1 and also showed very good model fit. For WRMR, we are looking for smaller values that are close to 1 or lower than 1. Our WRMR index was close to the recommended value of 1, showing acceptable model fit. In conclusion, these findings indicate that teachers' respect for students and behavior management strategies such as having fair and strictly reinforced school rules, student awareness of the consequences for breaking the school rules, and the consistent and unbiased application of these consequences can significantly reduce bullying victimization and other risky behaviors such as engagement in physical fights and weapon carrying.